We are celebrating the legacy of Marcus Kale, who tragically passed from sudden cardiac arrest back in 2019. Now, heart health has been top of mind since the DeMar Hamlin incident on Monday Night Football last month. You can only imagine how difficult that was for the Kales. I spoke with them. They were actually watching the game at the time, and memories of what happened to their own son came flooding back. I mean, I every time I heard an update about it, I was just, it, it just made me start to cry because I know how his family's feeling with him in the hospital, trying to recuperate, trying to figure out what exactly happened. It, it just re, makes us relive every, mm -hmm. everything. I was watching the game. Yeah. I was watching the game and saw it happen. And um, instinctively, they, they knew something was serious. And thank God they performed CPR on him right away and thank God they got him the treatment but uh, it, it's like Debbie said I was reliving watching Marcus mm -hmm. on the floor and them doing CPR on him and and um, but but the good thing was that touched my heart is, is all the love and affection that the mm -hmm. players and the world and support that is, is so amazing. powerful um, and, uh, and and the fact that he thank God he recovered Seeing a lot of that love here at Mawa High School this morning as we honor the legacy of Marcus Kale. Uh, tonight, there is a charity basketball game for him. Coming up next, we're going to actually introduce you to Marcus. For those of you who are not familiar with him, tell you his story and, of course, talk with his parents and his four older brothers. That's coming up next right here on CBS 2.